Hey everybody, um, just want to come on and give everybody the update I know y'all all been waiting for. Uh, we had our ultrasound this morning. We are currently six weeks and six days pregnant. We did have a little bit of a hiccup with the insurance once we got there. Now that my cousin, I'm not my cousin, but God, my husband started his company. Um, we are no longer covered obviously through his previous employer. They have Blue Cross Blue Shield. Now we have United Health Innovations through the marketplace, AKA the Obamacare. I did not know that my maternity was not covered. So we ended up having to pay $330 out of pocket for our, our ultrasound. And that was the discount that my um, RE gave us. So as soon as I get done making this video, I will be on the phone canceling Obamacare, which by the way is horrible, number one. Number two, uh, we will go with a brand insurance like Aetna or Blue Cross, something like that. It may be a little bit higher, but at least I'm covered. I cannot afford to pay maternity fees out of pocket for the entire duration of the pregnancy. That is just, I would not be able to pay all of my bills, eat, live. I mean, it would just be horrible because it's that expensive. When you have an ultrasound, it costs a hand. So I can only imagine how much it costs for the blood work, any type of labs. Uh, oops, I don't even want to think about that. So, yeah. Um, it's just terrible because if I was, you know, a welfare recipient, if I was just getting, um, what do you call it, Medicaid, Section 8 and all that, like all this stuff will be free. What am I paying for? Y'all know my rants about insurance, y'all. I'm not about to go through that. Y'all, I hate insurance. Insurance is the worst money pit. Oh, father. So, hi. <laughs> Our ultrasound went great. We are currently six weeks in six days six weeks and six days pregnant so that's exciting we were unable to get a due date <clears throat> and well an official due date and we were unable to get a confirmation on how many babies will we will have um so i will give you the news and there are several different combinations with this news so I am asking for prayers and just all types of things. So I'm going to show you how many kids are in here, y'all. Cover my information. I'm going to show you how many kids are growing in my belly right now. This is crazy. Y'all see that? Three. One, two, three. These are split identical. And this one is by itself. So I have triplets. So just to recap, my beta numbers went from 650 to 11,400. I have triplets. The problem with the triplets, we have two really strong heartbeats. The third one, they can see the fetus. Oh, I have more pictures. The third one, you can see the fetus, but you can't, there's no heartbeat at all. So here are the two fetuses there. I'm going to probably show my information at the bottom. I think that was just a bad angle because they couldn't get the fetus in there. But anyway, so we're having triplets. Um, third one could not get a heartbeat. If you remember Kennedy, when I was pregnant with Kennedy, we were pregnant with twins, couldn't get the heartbeat of the twin, and it dissolved. The difference between Kennedy's pregnancy and this pregnancy is the, I don't even think, I think when they, what was it? Oh, so the twin, the vanishing twin with Kennedy, there, there was really just a sack there. There really was, it was just kind of an empty sack. I don't even remember seeing, and I forgot to ask him about that because I'm just now thinking about it. 
I don't even remember seeing a fetus. I do remember them saying that they all they saw was a sack. And at the time, it was too early to see if anything had developed in the sack. So that one dissolved, and we ended up with Kennedy. This one, we have a fetus. We have a sack. We just don't have a heartbeat. Also, the point, oh, I guess triplet, triplet A and triplet B, the circumference is 2.31 centimeters. B is 2.26 centimeters. And twin triplet C is 1.46 centimeters. So you can tell it's fairly smaller than the other two. The length for twin A is 0.85 centimeters, B is 0.81 centimeters, and C is 0.70 centimeters. So they're fairly close in that. He said that looks really good. We will have to wait two more weeks to see if anything develops from, develops within, or with, I guess from the heartbeat, um, if the heart starts pumping. Um, I'm a strong believer in God, and if he wants that heart to start thumping. The power of prayer. It'll start thumping. So here are our combinations. The combinations are. I gotta make sure I say this right because there's so many combinations, but I'm just gonna give you guys the top three. If baby C is sharing a sack with either baby A or B. And baby C, does, the heart does not develop and start beating and it dissolves. If there are any weird abnormalities with that one, chances are the one that it's sharing a sack with can stop developing and they'll both kind of vanish and we'll end up with one baby. Another combination is baby C to dissolve on its own and the ones that actually split are the ones that the two with the strong heartbeats and we have identical twins. Did I say that right? Yes. Because they can't right now it's a little hard to tell which one was split. They think it's or they could tell which one split it's kind of hard to tell which fetus was inside of which sack, if that makes sense. So which you know um what other combination? Another combination is from time to time you have an embryo that splits as soon as it leaves the catheter during transfer, but before it actually implants on the uterus wall, meaning that all three of them have separate sacs. Um, identical twins typically happen when the egg attaches to the uterus wall and then it splits in half and they kind of they grow together they're sharing the same um, sac they're sharing the same placenta and everything like that so the third combination is if the embryo actually splits before the attachment and the third one just doesn't have a strong enough heartbeat to continue then we would just have two twins well, two twins we would just have a set of twins and the third one will dissolve, and they will be fraternal twins. Um, what else? Another thing was it could be the position of the fetus. Uh, I know the nurse said that sometimes they kind of attach themselves up and lay up against the uterine wall when they first attach, and it's just kind of hard because they're not in the right position to get a heartbeat or to even see the thumping. It could, just could be a little faint. I'm trying to think of any any other really major he went through so many combinations but I'm trying to think of the major ones I think I've given you the major three combinations um, so that's what we're dealing with at the moment I was a little sad I'm gonna pray about it like I said um, my husband is just like well we still have a blessing in Kennedy, and at least we know we'll at least have one baby. And I mean, I get that. And I don't know if it's because I'm on all this medication. I'm just really emotional. But to see, I think for a woman to 
see your babies on the screen and you just see them disappear. It's just kind of, just but it's kind of sad. Don't want that to happen. Um, so right now I am claiming that we are having triplets. We are pregnant with triplets. There are three of them in there, just hanging on. You can clearly tell this one is not the one that's split. We just can't tell if the fetus um, without the heartbeat is in which one of these. Oh, I think another combination was, it could be something where these two are actually, so this one and this one, or the, or I'm sorry, this one and this one, the one at the top. It could be something where those two are actually the ones that split, but homeboy down here is just kind of moving in the way and sitting in the middle. So you really can't tell which one split. Um, but he's almost sure that it's the ones that are on top of each other. But he said that does happen where you have that type of split where they just kind of move around and one's just blocking it, the other and kind of coming in between the two. So. I'm just hoping that my little man, a little girl, just fights for her little life because mommy would love to meet her. And I don't know if I can handle another vanishing twin, y'all. That was rough when I did it with Kennedy. Um, I, I got, I had, I got a little emotional in the beginning, but this, this one will be a little bit more rough on me. So yeah, those are our results. Symptoms, y'all haven't been wanting meat. I don't even want any food. Any food that's cooking, cooked food, like when you cook in the kitchen, like all that food is disgusting. It just smells and reeks. Um, now I feel like it's my duty to force myself to eat so that my baby can get nutrients and it's hard for me to start eating. So even if I'm throwing up, I gotta eat. And I'm definitely sick this time around. Um, but I'm gonna let y'all go because. I gotta call these insurance people, y'all. I get them a piece of my mind. Let's see, they gave me some more paperwork. Let me try it. Oh, this is just all my lab results. Yeah, this is just my lab results from the the beta count. So, six fifty three, the first one, and then eleven thousand four hundred on the money on the second one. So. All right. I will talk to you all later. Again, if everybody can just pray. I don't want to be selfish, but I want all my babies. All of them. So I know some people can't even make it to one, but I don't know, y'all. I'm just emotional bag right now. Just pray for me. I'll talk to y'all later.